Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well today. Um, so this is just a quick video about the Gigi New York Madison crossbody bag. And it really is a dupe for the Gucci Soho Disco. So if you don't want to spend um, over a thousand dollars new for the Soho Disco, then this one is definitely a good alternative for you maybe to just dip your toe into kind of that style that overall style and see if you like it if you find that you do like this one then you'll know that maybe yes I do want to pay over a thousand dollars for this the Gucci bag new so um, this kind of just gives you an idea if it's something that you really do want the bag that I'm talking about is this one this is by Gigi New York and it's the Madison crossbody bag so you may not have heard about Gigi New York before they're really just a handbag company they're in New York or they're um, headquartered in New York and so they're not super popular like you're not gonna find it at Dillard's or Macy's uh, I did see some I can't remember if it was on the Saks website or the Bloomingdale's website I want to say it was Saks um, they sell GG New York there's a boutique in my town and they sell it so you don't see it a ton, but you do see it around. It's definitely um, worth your time to check out. I believe that they really do have really nice bags. So this you can tell is pebble grained leather. And so they have the pebble grain leather and they also have croc embossed. And I'll show you an example of that in just a second. They actually have this in clear, which is kind of cool. So if you need a clear bag for work or for sporting event or whatever, then they have those. Um, and then they also have some hair caps. So like the leopard, kind of like um, the Patricia Nash bag that I revealed the other day. Um, they have that. They have some snake print, but it's not like real snake, if that makes sense. It's kind of like snake embossed, I think. It's definitely worth checking out. All right, and they do run sales. I think right now they have like 25% off their site. This one, the Madison Crossbody, retails for $250 for the pebble grain. And then for the Croco embossed, I think it's $235 that it retails for. They have a variety of different colors. This one I didn't see on the website now. Um, I've had this one for, it's been over a year, I think. And this is, I don't remember the color. It's something like, graphite gray or something like that but they have like navy they have black um and they'll come out with different colors like for the different seasons okay so just telling you a little bit back about this bag you can see that it has gold toned uh, hardware and it does have the little tassel um so one other thing that's different between this one and the croco embossed i noticed is that the pebble leather pebbled leather ones have a shorter tassel and the Croco Emboss ones have a longer tassel. It also does have an adjustable strap and it goes from 21 inches to 25 inches. So it's a, you know, great length to wear either on your shoulder or crossbody. You cannot remove these straps. So they're there forever. On the side here, you'll see the GG New York. Um, that's just their little plate. I think it's on all of their bags. It's not really prominent on any of their bags, I don't think, which I tend to like usually. The zipper is very nice. Uh, it, there's, I haven't, I've never had any issues with it. It's a nice zipper. On the inside, it is lined with, it's kind of like their signature print, I guess. So it says their, you know, the GG name right there. And it's like a linen or cotton lining. I didn't see on the website exactly what it is. Let's compare some of those things to the Gucci bag, the Soho Disco. I'm getting my notes here. The strap on the Gucci Soho Disco is, it just says on the website that it's a 22 inch adjustable strap. It doesn't say what it goes to, what's the smallest, what's the longest. It doesn't say. I also noticed just by looking at the pictures of the Soho Disco that those bags are much more shiny and the Gigi New York bag are much more matte 
or at least the pebbled leather ones are. Now, the Croco embossed ones, they're a little bit shiny, so it's kind of more in tune with the Gucci one, but it's a different, it's definitely a different look. As far as I know, you can't personalize the Gucci bags. Um, you do get the option on the Gigi New York website to get these personalized. You can um, get it stamped with three up to three letters, and I think it's like $15. Actually, I want to say that this one I had a coupon or something and they were doing free personalization. And kind of going back to the price, um, I didn't pay full price on this one. I think I paid either $100 or $125 because I got it on sale. So the things that I've purchased from them, I've always waited until they've gone on sale. All right. So the measurements, I have my notes. The measurements um, here on the Gigi New York is seven and three quarters, um, I guess in length, right? And then it's five and three quarters, yep, five and three quarters um, in height. And then here it is two and a half, yes, two and a half uh, in width. Now on the Gucci, it's very similar, just off by very small margins so it's eight here rather than seven and three quarters and then it's six here rather than five and three quarters and then it's the same as far as the the width is concerned two and a half so very similar there and if i didn't say the gucci bag right now is on the um their website for 11.90 so you can get it on the pre-loved market, but I don't think it's that much cheaper to get it. I've looked at Fashion File a couple of times for it, and for the most part, it's about running maybe like 900 to 1000 I think. Um, that's the last time I looked. Also, uh, if I didn't say about the, the Soho Disco, it comes in black, red, and like a beige color. I'm not sure that it's called beige, but um, those are the three colors that you can get it in. You have many more options than that for the GG New York bag. Let's just look at it again. So this is what it looks like zipped up. I have a few things in here. It's definitely not stuffed. And let's see what it can fit. This is what it looks like now. And like I said, it's not stuffed. I have, I can put my hand right here at the top um, or on the side because there's nothing there. Now, I will say I wore this or took, this was the only bag that I took to London when I went to London back in November because it's just easy. Um, and I always like to carry a water bottle around if I am out doing stuff. So I think I always had a water bottle with me when I was in London. This is just one that was actually on the plane. One of the, tr one of the legs that we took, um, this was given to us. If I want to carry water, I'll carry like a small one. There are, you know, smaller ones than this one. This is just the one that I grabbed. So I can stick it over here uh, in the side. All right, so I can stick it in the side there. Yes, it pokes out. If I had this bag, I would just zip it to that and just be done with it because honestly, I don't care. I don't care what people think, if they don't like it, if they think it looks silly, I don't care. I'm not trying to, to impress anyone, right? But if you have a smaller water, bo water bottle, this will definitely fit. Also, one thing that I didn't um, bring in here was an umbrella. I think I have a really small umbrella that will fit in here. So if you're in like a rainier climate, I rarely need one here uh, where I live in Texas, but it will fit in there. Okay, like I said, I just stuck a few things in here. I'm gonna pull out the little um, SLG that I have. So this is GG New York. Um, as you can see there. And this just gives you a good example of what their croc embossed leather looks like. I think this is, I don't think it's the size of the mini pochette um, from Louis Vuitton. I'm pretty sure it's not, but I will try to leave the um, dimensions here because I'm not real sure what they are. Uh, and here I just have like a little bitty lipstick. Um, I have my compact, I have tissues, I have a clip for my hair, hand sanitizer, and I think, oh, I have a couple of hair ties in there. So that's all I have in there. I'm not actually carrying this bag right now, so I just kind of stuff some things in here. Next, I just have the um, Louis Vuitton Rosalie wallet, and I don't have anything in here right now. I've taken everything out because I've been kind of switching bags, but 
it fits in there. I have a file and I have a pen and then I have the uh, the Dreamer card case which I actually have not used yet. I need to use this one because I do really like this one. So that's all I have in here and there is a pocket there so I didn't point that out. There's a pocket right there with their tag there. Now I have stuffed it with a few different things in a different way and I'm recording on my phone so I just have the case here so I just kind of stuck it right there on top and it fit just right in there like that. Let me open it just so you can see here. So I have my sunglasses and then I have my pen again. I have the file, I have the Dreamer case, the Louis Vuitton Rosalie, and then in the bottom I stuck the water bottle just down like this. So if you don't want it showing but you do want a water bottle, just know that it fits fine like that with room to spare right there. The way I just had it packed, there was still more room in there. I'm gonna try one more way and then we'll be finished. All right, so here's another way that I did it. I can, I kind of stack things on top of each other. So I have my sunglasses, the card case, the wallet, a pen. I just know that when I was traveling, especially when you're going um, overseas, you need a pen like a lot, so. And then what I did is I put so I kept the water bottle this way and then I took the SLG, the um, little pouch, and I just put it in upside down like that and it fit perfectly. So you really could put like a ton of stuff in here, your cards, uh, your driver's license, whatever that you use the most and you wouldn't even have to carry a card case like I have. So you really can fit a lot in this bag you can make it work and to me it works better if you kind of do have it stuffed because if not it kind of gets like that folded look right there which i don't like and i know that that happens on the uh, soho disco as well so that's just something to think about all right, I think that is all about this bag. If you have any questions about it, let me know. Um, I'll put the GG New York site down below for you so you can look at it if you want. Uh, this is definitely a good bag to check out. You can even, I think you can find these pre-loved as well. So like on Poshmark or eBay, so you can check that out. But I hope you are having a good day. I hope you're staying safe and I hope you'll subscribe and I will talk to you soon.